there, guys. It's Rick Kutzer here with Aragon Web, your home for old school Aragon reviews and where we tell you the facts, not fluff. Today's video is going to be about, obviously, the air arms we have right here, Hawk Optics and Pyramid Air's cool, very cool sub-MOA contest they have going on right now. If you want to learn more about the contest, I'll have links in the video description. Please take a look and go check it out because there's thousands of dollars worth of prizes that are going to be given out around the middle of September of 2022, in case you guys are watching this and it's a couple years later or whatever. But anyway, they've got a contest going on and it's all about shooting really small. And when I say small, we're talking sub MOA. So sub MOA is essentially minute of angle, sub minute of angle, and we're talking center to center groups now, okay? So at 25 yards, it's sub quarter of an inch, 50 yards is sub half inch, 75 yards is sub three quarters inch, and 100 yards is sub one inch. So that's some pretty high marks. If you can shoot that with your air gun, you're doing very, very well. And if you can shoot that with your air gun and submit it to Pyramid Air, you could win some really cool stuff. So if you can do it, then you need to go check that link out. Again, video description, check it out and get your submissions in. Today, we're going to be shooting the Air Arms Tactical. And I'm going to be testing, uh, basically, we're going to shoot H&N versus JSB. H&N released their own 1589 and their own 1813s. And we're going to see which of these shoot the best. Uh, does H&N shoot the best or does JSB shoot the best? Or does one or the other shoot better in different weights? And anyway, we're going to figure that out today. We're shooting at 25 yards today. The beautiful thing about shooting sub MOA is it's proportional. So if I can shoot sub quarter inch center to center at 25 yards, that's very good shooting. Just so you guys know, I'm not saying I can do it. Uh, I know the gun can do it, but whether or not I can do it, it's a whole nother, whole nother ball game, but we're gonna give it a shot. Um, when you go to the website, you're gonna get one of these cards. This little card here uh, is pretty cool because you can lay this over your target and you're gonna be able to see how you're doing. Now, um, for you guys that may not know how to measure center to center, we're gonna do that today as well. When we're done shooting our target today, we're gonna to bring it back and I'll, I'll kind of go through the process. We'll measure each group, write them down, and we'll see how I did. Now, the rules of the contest are five shot groups. So that's what we're gonna be shooting today. And I'm gonna start with the upper left bulls, uh, bullseye on our target down there. And I'm gonna start with the H&N 15s, that's 15, eight, nines. And let's see how I do. Five shots, and uh, let's see if I could shoot a sub MOA group. I was shooting a little bit earlier. Um, wind was kicking up pretty good shape, so I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how we do today. Oh, the other thing is, uh, <clears throat> in order to be like, like legit, you gotta be at the right distance. I remember when I first started this, uh, this career in reviewing air guns some 15 some odd years ago. I remember talking to some folks and they were saying they could shoot inch groups with a Springer at 100 yards and they'd come over and their 100 yards was more like 100 feet. Uh, so if you don't have a, a laser range finder or something, when you're measuring your distance, please do measure it accurately. I use a Hawk laser range finder from the front here to that target is exactly 25 yards. So make sure that you're doing this legit, right? So you're not cheating and don't cheat yourself and don't cheat others, right? So do it properly. All right, so we're all measured out. We've got our pellets in. I filled my gun up. Uh, actually, I'm gonna take a clear, clear the plenum here and then refill my mag. Hold on just a second. Okay. I had just filled it, I forgot. I need to take a couple shots to clear that out. Okay. Wind right now is coming right to left. Um, I'm going to aim for the bull, the dead center, but I'm just going to keep that hold and just shoot groups today, and we'll see which of these does best. We'll see if any of them give us sub MOA, right? So here we go. Let's start with the top left.
Thanks. Five shots. That's going to be close. I don't think that's sub MOA. It's very close, but I don't think we're there on that one. All right, so I'm going to shoot 18 grain. Again, H and N this time. We're going to go to the target just below it. Okay. I am shooting a Hawk Sidewinder here. Really nice scope. This is a 4 to 16, and it is the second focal plane, which for me, bench shooting, I love a second focal plane. Hunting, I want a first focal plane. All right, here we go. They, they were spreading a little bit. Doggone it. That was that could have been really good, but I shanked it. All right. 15.89 JSBs. Okay, that is very close. Very, very close. It's wind coming up. Let that pass. We can be dead calm, and then all of a sudden we get a gust come through and just screw everything up. All right, decent. No, 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 come on. Also very, very close. Um, I am going to give the H&N's 18's another shot because I really kind of screwed them up. I'm going to shoot those again. If they screw up again, then I know it was me, or not, it was the pellets and not me, per se, theoretically. But if it shoots really, really good, then I really think I shanked that one. So I'm going to try those one more time, just to be fair to them. Um, then we'll go grab that target, we'll measure them, show you guys how to do that, and then uh, we'll wrap this up. They were not as good. Let's see how much I have left. I have a little over 150 bar. I'm going to shoot one more of the Chase Bs just to sort of verify here. I guess if you wanted to be super accurate, like 
you wanted to make sure you were absolutely getting the best possible results, you would want to measure, you know, weigh and measure your pellets. Um, and there are a lot of folks that do that, especially competitive shooters. I am not that disciplined. I just like shooting. So let's see if uh, let's see if I can duplicate, duplicate, duplicate. If I can shoot the same group. <laughs> Here we go. These are JSBs on the right hand side, third third bull down. Oh yeah, I know that'll that'll definitely qualify for sure. Without a doubt, JSB seems to have taken the win, at least for today. And the 1813s, which gosh, we've shot this gun a lot already, guys. We already know the 1813s shoot really well, and that shoot that that shot, excuse me, that shot really really great. So let me go grab that target, and then we'll measure those groups. We'll look at them through our pyramid air. MOA uh, overlay here, and uh, we'll wrap this up and be right back. Okay, so I've got my paper, I've got my Pyramid Air little card here, and looking at these, re in reality, I don't know that a single one is going to qualify. When you start talking about shooting sub MOA, you're talking some pretty high marks, right? So it's, it is pretty cool when you can do it, and when you can do it all the time, Maybe you ought to go on the professional circuit because uh, that is a tough, tough call. All right, so let's start with this. Um, the way you measure center to center groups, right? Um, and I struggled with this for years until somebody explained it to me very easily. Let me get my phone real quick. You can't just take your micrometer and guess it. What you do is you measure the outside widest part and then you subtract the di uh, the yeah the the diameter of the ammo so what we're going to do is measure and then we're going to subtract 0.22 from that measure that'll give us our center to center for each of these groups we'll write it down and see how we did okay so i'll turn this on here all right so we set the inches we're going to measure this and look don't cheat yourself right you want to get honest about your groups and that is realistically and I might be I might be hurt myself a little bit on this one but I am uh, 0.55 on that group so if we're five five, I know we're not going to be it. So, so we are clear. Point five five minus point two two, and that gives us point three three. Point three three. Okay, so that's how you know if your center to center or what your center to center is. Now I know these are going to be too big, so we'll go ahead and do these real quick. Um, and that's point seven one. So that is 0.49 center to center. And this one is just all over the map. We'll do it just for academics, but we are at 0.92 minus 0.22, and that is 0.7 center to center. Okay, so none of those would qualify. Let's go over here to this one. This one might be close. I don't know. It's going to be close. It's going to be close. Let's see here. This here, top one, is, again, right around, this is 0.53. Oh, so I didn't need to do that one. 0.53 minus 0.22, so that's 0.31. Center to center. This one is about, it's actually a little bigger. So 
as 0.37. All right, and then our last one, this one is tight. Um, we are, oh man, point. Oh, <laughs> just on it. Uh, it's 0.47 minus 0 0.22 is 0.25. So we are right. I mean, if I take the card and lay it over, you can see how the ring would be about center to center on that one. Um, and that is, uh, that is what it takes to shoot sub MOA, that is some, it's hard. It, guys, it's very difficult. If you can keep sub MOA groups, um, you're an expert shooter, better than me for sure. So guys, um, I encourage you, get out with your air guns, check out the links in the video description for the Pyramid Air sub MOA challenge. Go sign up, submit your, um, submit your shot groups, and maybe you guys could win. And I wanna say thank you to Pyramid Air and Air Arms and Hawk Optics for uh, all they're all they're doing to support the sport, support this channel, and uh, support you guys out there uh, with some great prizes and some great stuff going on. So, guys, that's going to be it for today. Go shoot some sub MOA, guys. Uh, we'll wrap it up. My name is Rick Hutzer here with Airgun Web, your home for old school airgun reviews, where we tell you the facts, not fluff. Thanks for watching.